Hey, it's Ben Secrets from Accurate, and we have a, like a little how-to video for you today. Um, it's been brought to our attention that a lot of people are asking me how to put braid on reels. And we've also seen a lot of people, I'm not going to say a lot of people, a few of our customers putting braid on the reel, but they don't put it on tight enough. And what ends up happening is the braid turns on their spool. So they think there's a problem with the drag sometimes. We get the reel back, and it turns out the braid on the reel is loose. So what we're going to show you right now is how to put the braid, tie it onto the spool so that it's going to be tight, and we're going to show you how we put braid on. This is for the people that are trying to do it at home, not the people that go to the stores and they have those great machines there. These are the how-to guys. So here you go. Basic braid, okay? Most important thing you can see here, see, the, see this tape? You can use finger tape or you can use, basically, this is uh, masking tape. Any of it works, but what it does is it lets the line grab a hold of something and holds it really tight onto the spool. So what we do, basic knot that we use, is it's basically a uni knot, but instead of going just once around the spool, we go twice. If we can ever get it out of there. There it is. And we make sure that we put the line, the double wrap line, right in the middle of the tape. So we're just going to tie a regular uni, right? Tag in, goes to the spool, a line, one loop, right? You guys have seen this knot. We've done this knot. We do about, I don't know, four turns. It's not like it's a, a knot that we're tying a, a hook to or something. It will hold it really, really solid. You're going to pull this down, and the key to this is see how the knot, there's a little bit of space there between the knot and the spool? Take your fingernail, push it down on the knot, and it holds that thing firm on there, okay? So there you have your, your line tied off. Normally, I'd go through and trim that, but today I'm not, and I've got my friend Bo over here. This is a basic spool that you're going to buy, right? It's just a spool of braid. Bo's going to take his trusty pencil here, and we're just going to show you the basics of putting tight line on. So flip the spool over, Bo, and we're going to have the line come off the top of the spool. Main thing, make sure your drag's tight enough. Bo's pressing down on his leg to get a bunch of tension on this, and your kids can do this, your wife can do this, anybody can do it. If you don't have anybody to help you do it, what I do a lot of times is I'll stick a spool inside a box so it doesn't spin around and then apply all the pressure with a gloved hand on my fingers, and you can do it that way too. But since Bo's sitting here, that's how you put tight line on a spool, okay? Especially braid, it's super important. You want the braid to be solid on there. You don't want a problem with it spinning or moving on the spool once it's on there. So hope that helps you guys. We wanted to make sure that we did that because we heard this twice yesterday. So get out there, go fishing. We look forward to seeing you uh, around. And if you have any questions on Accurate, you can go to accuratefishing.com or you can go to our YouTube channel. And if you have questions on anything service-wise here, you can call Accurate and talk to any of us. Appreciate it. See you guys around.